testing a filament transformer is done much like a high voltage transformer. Note the wire positions and remove the wires. With your meter on the ohm scale, measure between terminals 1 and 2. You should see between 17.49 and 21.37 ohms. With your meter on the ohm scale, measure between 1 and 3. You should see between 20.61 and 25.19 ohms. With your meter on the ohm scale, measure between 4 and 5. You should see very low resistance. If you see an open circuit, the transformer is bad. Now, we need to see if we're getting voltage from the main control board. With pin 5 still grounded, and your multimeter set to DC volts, test between pins 1 and 2. Go to the keypad display that's still in test mode. Press the soft key next to top blower 10% to increase the blower speed in 10% increments. Each increment should increase the voltage output from the main control board by 1 volt DC. If you don't see the correct voltage, check the wiring harness, and if that's okay, replace the main control board. If there's no voltage present at the high voltage transformer, check the K2 anode relay. First check for coil voltage from the main control board. When it's calling for microwaves, you should see 24 volts DC at the coil. If there's no voltage, check the wiring back to the main control board. No output means a malfunctioning board. With the correct coil voltage, the relay should actuate. If it doesn't, you have a faulty relay.